Hey everybody, I hope and pray that you're doing well. Today as we come to our word from the word, and today that word is childlike. Childlike. Now, just to think about that, you remember when the children were coming up to Jesus and the disciples were trying to, thinking that they were an interruption or something like that, and trying to shoo the kids away, and he says, no, 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 no. He says, unless you all come like these children, right? That childlike faith. And, and today we see, as we're continuing to go through the Psalms, and today in Psalm 131, this week going Psalm 131 through 135, and I, I pray that you'll see, um, we'll finish up the Song of Ascents, and, and we'll look into some things. I love the end of the week, we're going to look at what God, uh, or what those little g-gods cannot do compared to what our one true God can do. Uh, but that's for another day. Today, that childlike faith, and it's something to see even here in the psalm. I love the heading in, in many versions will say a childlike spirit. And just to think about that, that I think sometimes we overcomplicate. Really, we overcomplicate what God has told us and actually being obedient and then doing, just simply doing what he's told us to do. You know, as children often do, we argue with our Heavenly Father. And we think sometimes that we know best. And, and sometimes, let's be honest, we act a little spoiled and we pitch a little fit. But notice what he says today here in Psalm 131. It's a short psalm. Uh, all of them are short this week. Um, today, as we look, we're going to read the entire psalm. It says, So, Lord, my heart is not haughty, nor my eyes lofty. Neither do I concern myself with great matters nor with things too profound for me. Surely I have calmed and quieted my soul, like a weaned child with his mother, like a weaned child is my soul within me. O Israel, hope in the Lord from this time forth and forever. And I love in, in the New King James uh, translation I have, it says simple trust in the Lord, that childlike trust, that childlike faith. Now, the, the whole idea here behind what he's saying is to think about a weaned child, right? What does the child first think when he's being weaned off of his mother's milk? He thinks, wait a minute, I'm, I'm no longer in my mother's arms. That's where I want to be. I want to continue to get the milk that I've been getting. I, I want the closeness. I want the comfort that I've had. But the mother doesn't do it out of hate. The mother doesn't do it out of disdain or out of punishment for the child. No, the mother knows that the child needs nourishment to grow, but needs to grow and cannot continue to grow in her arms. Needs to move on to solid food. Needs to move on to other things. Isn't that just like us as Christians? And just as the psalmist is saying, he says, that's how my soul is. Now, I have gotten off of those small things. I think the fact that he says, I don't get it ahead of myself. I don't think about those things that are too profound for me. You know, a lot of times as, as spoiled children will do, we, we think that God owes us an answer for every single thing. And he absolutely does not. He does not owe us a thing. Not one single thing. And so as we begin to get that in our minds and we begin to understand that, that yes, God has, has allowed us to go through one moment where it seems like we were very close and we were on, uh, if you want to stick with that analogy that he uses here, with the, the milk of the word. Now he is pushing us, not pushing us away, but pushing us to dig deeper into the meat of the word. And that's where we don't have to worry about going way out too far. It's just, it's a process a little bit more at a time. So he says, like a weaned child is my soul within me. He says, now, now I understand that some of the things in the present moment, it may seem a little uncomfortable. It may seem painful, but God, I know it's because you're trying to teach me something else. You think about that first time as you were beginning to walk as a child and your, your parents let go and you had to stand there on your own and, and begin to walk. You say, well, I was too young to remember that. Well, what about maybe even you remember riding a, a bicycle or, and you remember that, right, they're running behind you and then all of a sudden you thought they were still holding on, but they weren't. They had let go. 
Now, ultimately, I know these are just analogies to help us kind of see the picture. God's not going to let go of us. His love is not going to cease. His love is not going to change because God is unchanging. So what does change is the methods and the way in which he teaches us. And all we need to do is continue to have a childlike faith. And that childlike faith at its root is basically saying, God, you're our father. I believe you because you're my father. That's it. Nothing further. That is childlike faith. And we can have a childlike spirit within us that doesn't have to overcomplicate things, doesn't have to understand every little minute detail. We can, yes, we can search the scriptures and, and we should seek to know more of him. But don't get caught up in the things that we cannot understand this side of eternity. Don't get caught up on those things. Just to, sometimes we just simply have to accept it by faith, specifically a childlike faith. God bless you, and I pray you have a great, great day.